team is working very actively with EPRI, which is a group of utility companies that come together. We've been discussing different ideas of charging stations, how we can help consumers set up their homes to have the most efficient type of charging of the Volt and other things. But this won't be available from GM or Nissan until 2010 at the earliest, and they still need to agree on a universal charging mechanism, so don't get too excited too soon. Now the other thing you need to understand is fuel cell technology. It's a system that burns hydrogen as a fuel which creates electricity to power a car. You know that when you put the foot to the floor the electric motor propels you. It has peak torque available at zero RPM so you just get a nice quiet feeling of getting pushed into the back of the seat. What comes out the exhaust is something we all need. Water. Other car makers like BMW, Honda and Hyundai are developing their own fuel cell vehicles. But again, this isn't available on a wide scale because there are only a few places to fill up with hydrogen, which delivers an estimated 40 miles to the gallon. And Toyota, which pioneered hybrid technology on a large scale, is now experimenting with a propane-driven hybrid, something that uses natural gas. So if and when you decide to buy a new car, don't be surprised if the options available are something you haven't tried before. Just be careful and know what you're getting into and then lay back and enjoy it all. This is Greg Morrison.